this week on Passing It On Outdoors. So it's Halloween and we're headed to Indiana to kill big deer. Passing it on outdoors is brought to you by Agra Supply, more than a farm store. Carolina Cooker, a tradition born in the South. James River Equipment, serving the Carolinas with 30 full service locations. Black Widow Deer Lures, it's simple, they work. And Hands of a Sportsman, inspire, motivate, overcome. November the 1st, we made it to Indiana, staying at Eric's house last night. Uh, they were kind enough to let us uh, uh, stay at their house for a couple days and not stay in old nasty motels. So we're gonna head into Madison, buy a license, come back, get some stuff, go hang a few sets, and we're gonna get to killing deer hopefully this afternoon. So as much as we wanted to get in there and start hunting these deer, we knew the rut was close. Eric came up with a different game plan and I think this will eventually pay off for us. All right, me and Guy and Eric are gonna run over to the farm. Uh, it's been pouring down rain, so it's gonna take this afternoon to, to show us the farm uh, via UTV and uh, we'll cover a lot of ground a lot quicker. We'll hang some lifelines, make sure we're safe. Hanging a climber and a couple of camera stands. These already got stands hung. Again, we just, all we gotta do is walk in and hunt these places. So uh, it's obvious Eric's very knowledgeable about this form, the way the wind goes, and, and he's very cautious on how we need to get in there. So we're gonna lean on him this week and next week to make sure we're making all the right moves. So either me, or that guy right there can shoot a big buck. All right, folks, I'm super excited. I'm first up to bat. We got a little draw right here. We just got some pictures on the sniper drill camera of old Grandpa Jones. He's going up above here to bed down above us. We got to be super quiet. We're going to go in here and we're going to sit down and hope Grandpa Jones or one of his buddies comes back through to see us this morning. We're going to try to set the lunch. We're here in Indiana, super pumped. Can't wait to get in the tree. Y'all stay tuned. Beautiful spot, heck of a place to kill a nice bug. So 
We're all getting down. Gotta get some lunch and get back at it as soon as possible. All right, it's about three o'clock. Uh, just met Eric. We're going to move one of these, uh, they call them uh, wagon blinds. So we got a trail cam picture yesterday of a really nice buck at a, what they call the, the pinch point. So the problem is where the wagon is at is uh, on the wrong side. So we're going to hook the UTV up to it and just pull it right across the other side of the field, get in it and try to kill a big deer. I like plans. It's kind of crazy, but I like it. How you like that? Brett, I don't care. If this works, you're going to get a big hug from me. Yeah. yeah. I'll just take I'm a handshake. A big old kiss <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So Eric has hunted this farm quite a few years and he's done a really good job getting us in the right spot for the first day. We've seen quite a few deer, we've seen a few bucks, no shooters yet, and we can't wait to tomorrow morning's hunt. For many years, you've known Agri Supply as the go-to place for all your farm supplies. With a visit to one of our store locations or to our website, you'll see that we're much more than just a farm store. From cooking supplies, which includes a line of cast iron and enamel ware, to truck toolboxes, trailers, lawn and garden supplies, outdoor apparel, and hunting and sporting goods. Agra Supply carries a variety of products that cater to your farm, shop, and home needs. With over 26,000 items at reasonable low pricing, we truly have something for everyone. Agra Supply continues to be a family-owned business with a large selection of consistent quality items, honest low pricing, and above all else, excellent customer service. By standing behind our products and services, we promise to never let you leave unhappy. Visit one of our retail locations or online at agrisupply.com and let us earn your business. Beloved by many for the ability to impart flavor, Carolina Cooker was established to bring everything you need to cook with under one roof. With a wide variety of cooking burners and fryers to cast iron cookware and accessories, Carolina Cooker has what you need to dish up great food. Whether you're tailgating, camping, or cooking for a large number of people, make Carolina Cooker your go-to brand for cooking needs. Visit us today at carolinacooker.com. Carolina Cooker, a tradition born in the South. No matter the job at hand, James River delivers the John Deere equipment to take it on. Whether you're mowing your lawn, hauling material, or baling hay, James River has the John Deere mowers, tractors, gator utility vehicles, and implements you need to get it done fast. Plus, with low rate financing and big cash rebates, James River makes owning a John Deere just as easy as it is to operate. Come see us today or request a quote online at jamesriverequipment.com. James River delivers. So the next morning was really slow. Uh, it was just nasty, still raining. We hunted this little small soybean field. I, I think we saw one deer. That afternoon, we called an Uber driver, and he's taking us into the stand. So this is our second afternoon, and the tractor is our cab. So our last morning we went and hunted a little spot called a pinch point. I really like spots like this. When you're looking at a map, 
I look for areas like this because it connects two fields together and it does exactly what it needs to do and it pinches the deer down right there in front of you. So we waited to daylight. We're utilizing our Black Widow Triple X estrus deer urine. We put it on a drag rag. Our idea is that we're going to drag this across the field. Hope if a buck comes across, he'll pick up that scent and come right by us. So we're only in North Carolina for like four days. Man, a cold snap hit. It's supposed to be cold for several days. We're headed back to Indiana and we got six days to hopefully get this done. We're back in Indiana again. Today's November the 9th. It's 23 degrees. The rust is now starting to kick in up here. Got a draw here to our right. Beautiful place. It's cold. Wind's died down. That's a good thing. Hopefully it'll stay one direction. So y'all stay tuned. We're here on the trigger. Hit the bean field in Indiana, trying to kill a bruiser. I got several lanes I can shoot right here. That's three deer we've seen so far, and it's a little bit after 10, so we're going to stay here for a while. I think that deer is starting to pick up a little bit. We'll probably do a little more rattling. Hey, that, that just grows our curiosity a little bit. Hope to get Big Boy to come up here and check it out. Passing It On Outdoors is also brought to you by Lucky Buck Minerals, bigger bucks guaranteed. Hunter Safety Systems, saving lives is what we do. Jarrett Rifles, the most accurate rifle in the world. Ben Pearson Archery, rebuilding the legend. Carolina School of Broadcast, measure success one graduate at a time. And the Cowden Plantation, a true Southern hunting experience. So why does Whitetail Edge use Black Widow deer lures? It's 100% pure white-tailed deer urines. It's never brown or broken down. Black Widow deer lures are always fresh, collected and bottled within 24 hours of collection to guarantee freshness. So why should you use Black Widow deer lures? Because it works. Visit www.blackwidowdeerlures.com. The hands of a sportsman is making dreams come true and providing opportunities for people both young and old with disabilities that present challenges for them to enjoy the outdoors. In short, we're creating an advantage for the disadvantaged. For some, if not all, the great outdoors breaks the struggles of everyday life and provides opportunities we all need to become a mentor, a volunteer, or to donate. Log on to handsofasportsman.org and help make a difference today. 
Here at AgriSupply, we stock over 100 different toolboxes from seven different toolbox manufacturers, including UWS. Whether it's for the farm, shop, or home, we stock a variety of toolboxes to fit your needs. Visit one of our eight retail locations or agrisupply.com. All right, we'll come out and eat some lunch. I mean, day we gotta eat every now and then. But first day up here, a little tired. We didn't get uh, Eric to about one. We're going back, sitting for the rest of the afternoon over at Soybean Field, and uh, we'll see if we can get it done. 32 degrees right now is warm today, so the bucks ought to be on their feet moving. So this small soybean field uh, seems to be the ticket. I mean, we've seen plenty of does, we've seen bucks, we've not seen the shooter buck we're looking for yet, but it's only a matter of time, and you know what? I think we're gonna camp out here, and that's where I'm going back the next morning. Well, we got in here a little late. We used to drag rag to come in here with our black widow, trip wigs, doe visitors here, and we got a tripper right here. The wind's not exactly like what we want, but we gotta give up some, Mr. Rudd. Anything can happen. I'm just hoping one of these big deer that's been showing up on camera will eventually show up here. So we got a nice little bottom that feeds into a big set of woods. The deer can show up from anywhere. I mean, we got a trot in front of us that deer are bedding in. So you just gotta be here at the right time. That's what we're hoping on. We need the good Lord to shine on us this morning. <laughs> So this morning where we hunted, we seen a lot of deer up the corner. We still had bucks below us. We decided, wind-wise, that we're gonna to move to the other end of the field where the does were at, hoping something come through there and sent check these does. And we can get a good buck on the ground.
So the next two and a half days, man, we just camped out on this soybean field. Uh, we seen a lot of deer, uh, and we, we spent a lot of time trying to fill our buck tags. But for whatever reason, man, we just, we just could not see a mature buck in this field. So on the fifth day, we kind of moved a few things around in the morning after we hunted. Uh, we moved one of the wagons to one small field to the big field because we'd seen a lot of deer in that field. We had some bad weather coming in for the end of the week. We wanted to have something we could hunt in. But we got to scouting and we found this one spot where the woods necked down. There was a power line running through it. And Guy, man, he got in there and he said, you know what, there's a lot of sign in here. That's where we're going to hunt this afternoon. So the later it gets, man, I just, I'm, I'll am i be honest with you, I'm kind of bummed out. I mean, we've seen a few turkeys and one little doe. We look up and there is a nice buck making a scrape on the edge of the field across the ravine. And we just need a little luck here. This deer can go several different ways, but if he'll drop in this bottom, hopefully he'll get close enough for guy to get a shot. He's following me. I think he's down. He looked like he stopped right in there. He got so thick, I couldn't tell. If you don't tell him, that's a I cannot believe after eight days that we finally got it done. This buck basically signed his own death warrant. He dropped right in the shot. We felt like the shot was good. We went back and reviewed the footage. Everything looks good. But when we got down, it was dark. We felt like we saw the buck fall, but we really need to find blood just to make sure. I know he's I lost him in the middle of the field. I think I seen him go down out there today. There's more blood. some blood. Man, I seen him laying right here in the field somewhere. There's Dave right there, he lays. Oh, right there. <laughs> Man, he... Oh. Yeah, I'm under. I done. Wow. Oh, man. What a good deer. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Man, it's been a whew. eight days. I've enjoyed this week, and it's been a, it's been a good day. Been a, it's been an interesting day. Been a good week. Can't thank David enough for being a friend to me and all the people we've helped and stuff. Coming back around. You deserve. It. Thank you, bud.
Dave, I'm proud of him. He's pretty. Yes, he is. He's going on the wall. He's going on the wall. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Eric, Patet, and family, for and Joe. Man, y'all been super awesome guides. Y'all told us where to go and stuff. And man, Eric and them opened their home up to us, treated us like family. We sat around at night and man, Eric and them's what family's about. They, they don't even have a TV in their living room. They got one up there in the bonus room where me and Dave's been staying. And uh, they, they, they're, they've taught me what family is really about, spending time together. And uh, can't thank them enough. And man, what a what awesome day, awesome day, awesome week. About to get teary out here. <laughs> Man, what a blessing. So there's a couple takeaways from today's hunt I kind of want to throw out there. Uh, sometimes uh, hunting doesn't always work out like you want it to. Uh, you feel like you're in a good spot, and you ain't. Uh, Eric did help us a lot, and, and you know, it took eight days. And a lot of times you watch these shows and and I get comments, y'all make it look so easy. Y'all got help, you know, you got people putting in stands. And a lot of that's true, but you still got to get it done. And, and this hunt took old fashioned boot leather to get in there and just scout. And even though the deer were doing one thing the week before, they were doing something different the next week. And that's what it took. The second takeaway was for me to film Guy's hunt and to see the smile on his face when he finally got the deal done on the nice buck. That made this whole trip complete. I could have cared less whether I shot a deer or not. So the last thing I want to throw out there is just really the true friendships you make through hunting. Eric really didn't know us from Adam. Uh, we met him online through Facebook. He let us stay at his house. He introduced us to his family. Uh, we got to eat supper with him every night. And I'm gonna go back to what Guy said. I mean, this family doesn't even have a TV in their house. So they spend a lot of quality time together and I think we all can learn something from that. So I hope to see you back here next week. I hope this hunt showed you we don't always get it done in the first day or the fifth day or the eighth day. But you know what? Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard, but in the end, you gotta get it done.